Hello, hello. This is the final, final part of uh, the game. Oh my god. Okay, so I made a big oopsie. I can't believe I did that again. Um, so you, I said before, perhaps in episode four or three, I forgot. I believe it's episode four. You know when I said that I updated OBS and then I, you know, the mic setting kind of switched and then I didn't record anything? Now this time, for some kind of reason, uh, yesterday I actually had to do some like a short recording of something and I had to shut my mic off because I didn't want OBS to record uh, the actual surround sound that was happening because I was still talking to my sister. I forgot to turn it back on like a fucking idiot. I um editing me like insert some of the playthrough. Um, obviously, I'll try to do a voiceover. Thank goodness it's much, much shorter. Um, there's a lot of like skipping that I did. Um, so I let you do the work now editing me. I'm so sorry. I swear. Um, I'm going to treat you with delicious coffee. Um, yes, any coffee that you'd like, you'll get it. I promise. Um, so BRB to this part. And we can continue for the very final day of the Witcher Life story. And then I'll be able to ramble a little bit more. Um... I'll be able to remember a little bit more. So editing me, work your magic, splice, edit as much as you can to just put all the dialogues that kind of changed. And then we'll get to it. So this is actually the beginning of my voiceover. Um, we are going to breeze through um, Mel's dialogue to give her the hourglass. And that's when I noticed that the candle holder was actually bugged. And it was no longer a candle holder, but like the amulet that we gave to Devin, visually speaking. Um, and it kind of made me not necessarily irritated, but you know, oh, yet another thing that I didn't notice the first time. Then we skip through Nish Nisha. I'm so... Sorry that you guys didn't get to hear my first clicking at this point. Um, and I believe that was the first time I kind of like went through it and said, oh yeah, I wish there was some kind of like auto skip. Um, and then we are going to, I don't know what I was doing for this time. I was talking for an awful long time, but there is going to be like a very small change in dialogue. And you, oh yeah, editing me, <laughs> editception. Uh, you can insert actually the actual item, the hourglass, um, not hourglass, but candle holder, how it should look like. Because the first playthrough, actually, it was, you know, enchanted, enchanted ish, um, but this time it's like fully enchanted. Time to give Jonas this candle holder. You see, Jonas had the festival grounds. Things seem pretty hectic, but it's really coming together. Jonas, Miss Tina, what's up? I don't have a lot of time right now. Not a problem. I just want to give you this. Give the candle holder that it's bugged out. Wow, are you sure this is for me? This is like really fancy. Um, okay. <laughs> Next, please. Watch, I'm going to click so fast. After. It's going to be fa too fast for me. Do you like it? Oh, geez. Yes, of course. I've just never owned something like this before. Um, I don't have anything for you, though. Don't worry about it. I just thought it would be a nice souvenir, so you don't forget about me. All the ingredients are things that came to me as that we talked over these past few weeks. I figured I'd put them together, uh, put them on a candle holder to use whenever you practice your affirmations. Or whenever, really, I don't know. I just, I just want to give you... Hey, Mistina, I really appreciate it. I really do. And even the, yeah, I circled, like I mentioned, like even the face looks like, um, and at this point it was still the same, um, how the first time we gave him the 
um, enchanted-ish candle holder that he really not necessarily didn't seem too impressed, but kind of dismisses like, oh, what is this, you know? Um, but this time around, he seemed genuinely like surprised and pleasantly surprised that you gave him something. Um, then we move forward onto the next day. Um, if I didn't get the time to put the uh, candle holder thing, maybe to put it now, I don't know. This episode, it's going to be something to edit. I don't really look forward to it, but we have to do what we have to do. So this part, I don't think the text changed much. It's really going to be a little bit more... It's going to change towards the end. I'm not even sure. Why did I leave that to the, to the editing? I'm going to roast myself in the comment. As usual. Yeah, now it's really... Let's invite whoever. Oh yeah, I picked Jonas again. Uh, really because I didn't want to go through the extra dialogue, really. Um, you know, I, this was already not supposed to be recorded, to be honest. To be honest. So, yeah, this is going to be the end of uh, the part that I missed, completely muted. And we are going back to um, the actual episode. See ya! And we're back! <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, let me go through the last day. So, I'm going to skip through a lot of things. This is day 14, so this is the festival, the 13th, I invited Jonas, um, I'm just saying that just in case editing me decided to cut some of the stuff, um, and then we started at day 12, where we gave all the items, um, and like I mentioned previously, um, the, during the first recording, this color, um, was not there. Uh, during my last play playthrough, and that actually did cost me the good ending. Um, kind of like the perfect ending. So, during one of my rant at the beginning of the episode, um, that probably got edited out because there was no sound, my, the way, I mean, my editing eyes didn't notice any of the mistakes. So maybe if you, you viewers will actually see it, and that might be the case that I was the one at fault. But to my understanding, like the way I would picture it is that let's say you do this is the this is the first event, this is the second, third, and fourth. And for me, you won't get the third um item or skill or whatever like plant this is if you didn't unlock the second one. You know, usually like as long as you didn't do second, like, heart event, you don't get to have access to the third one, let alone the fourth one. Now, that's why, like, for me, the fact that I'm missing the second heart event makes, makes no sense to me. Because there's technically, technically, like, no bad answers. Um, but, unless the, the way they coded was like, okay, this is day two. This is day four, this is day six, this is day eight, you know? So if you may miss this, the, the, day, uh, the day four event, then it's gone. So perhaps this is exactly what happened. I did not notice because like I said, I mean, I'm, you, you guys didn't know um, because that was my recording that I haven't recorded. But <laughs> this is my third playthrough. Um, and so perhaps I kind of like skim through a lot of this without even thinking. Um, yeah. So let's go to the village. Let's go through all of this. Um, and I'm going to kind of go over. So I'm going to click a little bit slow, like a little bit more slowly. That way um, I, you get like, I'll be able to read part of the stuff that was not there before. Um, so one thing, this is my third time playing this. What I find like a shame 
is really the fact that there's no auto skip text button or like skip what has been read before. Um, the fact that it's, this is not an option kind of bugs me. Uh, because there's not much going on in this game. The main mechanic is the garden, you know, where there's no resource management. There's no like, I have to buy seeds, I have to gather water, um, even for the potion making. Like, you got the flowers, sure, you get some of the items, like um, the, the bottles, the pouch, um, the incense. But you don't get to really explore, you know? Um, you know, go to the woods and gather specific things and go come back and use that for crafting. Because I can't think of a few games that uses that mechanic. Usually you incarnate like a, an alchemist or a witch and you there's like some exploring you know that you have to do um in order to create you know potions um and go through all the requests but because this is not the main focus of the game apparently i i find it like a shame that there's not more and to have like uh, UI, you know, for the text box, like mistakes, it's such a shame, you know? And I know that in the last episode, um, I was talking about like, oh, the good parts of the game. And I started like seeing about the graphics, uh, something about the graphics. And then um, I started seeing something about the music. And then I immediately went on a tangent, like, you know, this is like full sound. I raised it a little bit more on OBS to make sure. Um, that it wouldn't be too overpowering, quote unquote. But like for this setting, what I have in my ear is not loud. It's most of the time when you play a game, like the music is like blasting your ears and you're like, whoa, hold on. Let me drop it to 50%. Um, if not less. Oh, no, okay. Um, if not less, because you don't want your eardrums to just get destroyed. Um, but the music is super soothing. I do like it. The graphics, everything. Um, I do enjoy, you know, the way that the story unfolds itself, even though the main character is a little bit despicable to me, at least to me. Um, I do enjoy it, you know? It's just that for me, it doesn't justify, you know, the full price. And like I mentioned before, to me right now, in 2023, this game is uh, close to $28. I'm going to write it up to $28 Canadian with the taxes on a little bit more, maybe. It's not worth it. And it's a shame. It's a really such a shame because it is a lovely game. But because you don't give me a whole lot when it comes to, you know, the gameplay, I can't really... You know, I'm going to rely a lot on the text, but then the texts have either like sent like syntax errors that for me, as someone who doesn't use English as their first language, is crazy to me. Or the UI where, you know, um, when I there was one sentence where it's like but comma, and it was after like after a um a period. It's like B, you know, capital B, U, T, comma. It was but, like, tiny B, U, T, T, like a, an actual but, like a derriere, dot, comma. I was like, what is this? And I think my first comment, unless it changed when I had to re-record it, but, like, did you type it on the phone? Like, is this what happened, you know? Because even then, like, what is this? You know? And it's jarring. Because all you have to focus on, aside from the graphics, um, is the text. Because it is text heavy. You know? Um, but there's, you know, it's still an indie game. It's a super, 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 super small team. 
and you know it's always easier to criticize and say oh you should have done that i don't know how to code let alone code a game so i i can only admire their work for what it is um and you know empathize a little bit with the situation because if it's your first game this is already amazing you know um because you know if i never learned how to uh how to code all of this and this would be my my final product i wouldn't be too mad um but i sure would play the shit out of it to make sure that there's no typo or some kind of like ui problem um but like i said there's only so much that we can you know we can say especially because we don't know like the behind the scene kind of stuff it's just that for a full price game it's it's difficult it's difficult you know okay get back to the center of the festival okay i can skip a little bit faster now um and i'll slow down and reread the parts that are new so this is pretty much similar even before this day um editing me will have taken care of that um there's definitely some parts that are much easier to um like uh that change a little bit much easier sometimes i don't know where my brain goes um so this is devin it's all good i'm not looking forward to the voiceover in this okay so this is a part that kind of changed um it looks like the, this festival is already a success i'm not even sure the village needs my blessing you hear the clock strike yep that's our signal Time for the harvest ritual, the last thing I have to do here in Flora. And see here, this is where you know this is like the, the good ending because it's filled. Um, you head to the main square of the festival just as the village, villagers finish the altar. At this part in the last playthrough when I didn't get the perfect ending, it did mention that there's still a lot of people that left before the end. Um, but now it seems that everybody stayed. You can sense feelings of hope and joy radiating from the local craftspeople and farmers. Do you think this is enough for the ritual? Agreed. I think this is more than enough. This is incredible. Maybe even too much. So many exciting offerings. This is incredible. I've never seen such an abundant harvest halter. Whoa, what kind of jam is that? Oh, that looks so delicious. I want jam now. Right. We feast after the ritual. Everyone felt very inspired this year. Perhaps you had something to do with it. Hm. I'm brilliant after all. Nope. See, I'm not lazy. Perhaps my experiments paid off. See, I'm not lazy. Hey, <laughs> I'm just joking. Sort of. But I'm not taking credit for all of, the, uh, all of this. Everything here took longer than two weeks to prepare. Just look at these crops, jams, baked goods, crafts, and then together we figured out how to bring everyone and everything together again. Shall we get started then? You take a deep breath. You guess this is it? Let's do this. You take a few steps back and put your hands out. Now everyone, I want you to make a circle and hold hands. It's time to begin our harvest ritual. All the villagers gather around and take each other's hands. Oh, harvest goddess of flora, we come together today to give thanks for your magic. For without you to nourish our soils and community, we have none of the offerings before you now. Please share our bounty with us on this day and continue to bless us with peace and happiness. We've all worked hard to grow these, these grains and fruits to unite our community through art, music, and good food. All to honor you. Villagers of Flora, join and chant. Blessed be. Now, to close this rite, 
let us feast in the presence of our goddess. And so the feast begins. We can sense the energy in Flora has changed since you arrived. People are talking, laughing, and simply having a good time. Maybe in the end, coming to Flora wasn't so bad. See? Small things like that, where just a, just a typing error stands out because nothing else is going on except this. You're sad to leave, but you're glad to go with a sense of accomplishment. But still, you wish you didn't have to go. New part? I uh, will change a little bit. Huh? Who's that? You see Ruth standing on a chair with a glass in hand. I want to say a few words. First, I've never been so proud as I am right now to be the mayor of Flora. We've all accomplished so much today. May the Harvest Goddess be pleased with you, all your hard work. But secondly, Messina, I know you, you've already said you don't want to take credit. But I think I speak for everyone when I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's been an interesting two weeks, but none of this would have been possible without you. That is why, as one of my final acts I'm as mayor, I ask you to please return to Flora as our village witch once you've completed your, tra your training. This is new. Whoa, I wasn't. You really weren't. I wasn't expecting this. You look over at Jonas. You're both thinking the same thing. After you finish your training, you can come back to Flora. This is is this isn't goodbye forever. I think I'd like that. I was just thinking about how many places would be suitable for napping here. Everyone begins to cheer. To cheer. Jonas runs over and gives you a big hug and a kiss. I can't wait for you to come back. Neither can I. And so the festival continued until the early hours of the morning. All the food was eaten, and people danced until they couldn't dance no more. It was almost time to catch your train home when you got home. See? It was almost time to catch your train home when you got home. Why? You know, it was almost time to catch your train when you got home. That could have worked too. Because the context says that you're actually leaving, you know. You're glad, uh, you're glad you didn't have time for any sorrowful goodbyes. They were unnecessary anyway. You know you'd be back someday. And then, to the prologue. You went through a lot during your time in Flora. You wanted to avoid any responsibility at first. But then, you made friends, joined a community, and realized things are much better when you work with others. And when others work with you. And everyone else in the village realized the strength of a community, and themselves too. When Nisha returns to school, she'll find strength and creativity in her relationship with the Fibli Niblis instead of keeping them and hurt herself at a distance. See? That is also very annoying. Devin might not want to be a rock star, but that doesn't make them any less of a musician. Perhaps they've been not forcing themselves to be something they're not will also make it easier for them to make a new uh, to make new friends. Jonas will always be a little goofy, but with Caesar by his side and the trust of his crew, you know he's finally found his place. Unlike her brother, Mel will probably be always uh, always be a little uptight. But with her witch training and the festival's success. You believe Mel has finally figured out how to find balance in her life, but that didn't change. Jean better have a bunch of new tasty lights for you when you come back. Everyone's enthusiasm for this for his Madeleines showed him that even if he has an off day, we'll all know he's talented. We can't be perfect all the time, so that's good. Say so that's still the same. And lastly, Ruth, our fearless leader. Okay, maybe not fearless. But she has, um, she navigated Flora through a lot during her time as mayor. 
Now she's ready for the next step in her life. You'll be the first to buy Ruth's memoir about her travels. Well, Nisha would, will probably be first, but you'll definitely be second. And now it's time to get back home and finish your training. You can't wait to show your gran everything you learn while in Flora. You know she'll be proud of you. Sure, you might still be, uh, you might still butt heads sometimes, but you know she cares about you. If she didn't, she never would have sent you to Flora. You now feel more ready than ever to become the witch you've always dreamed of becoming. And that's the end of the game. Um, super, super duper small crew. Sarah, amazing work for the art. You know, Leanne also, UI art object, you know. Uh, Aubrey, shout out. Let's go. Suzanne, you know, let's go, let's go. And as you can see, that, that's it. That's the team. So I can understand, like, you know, there was a lack of QA testing. But it's still... It's still a shame. It's honestly still a shame. But you know what? I'm going to stick by what I said. It is still... A lovely game that I would get on sale but since it's very um, you know visual novel forward versus gaming as I would have expected um, it might not be for you so if you you know watch all of this and you were like well that's it you know when it comes to gameplay I expected a little bit more um, this is definitely not a game that I would recommend you. If you love visual novel, it's still a pretty solid one. It's very cute and simple, effective, and yeah. Um, but get it on sale. That's all I can say. <laughs> so this concludes this series. I really hope you enjoyed it, even though I am English impaired. Um, even with all the kerfuffle where I had to edit, even for this episode, oh my goodness. But, if you enjoyed it, um, do the YouTube thing, you know, like, comment, subscribe. And um, I'll see you around, I guess, hopefully. By the time this episode comes out, I may be back already to streaming. Maybe. Hopefully. And if I am... Well, don't hesitate to come by and say hi. It's always a fun time. And I'll see you guys around. Bye.